Michelle Emmanuel Photo, photographer and content creator. I do beauty and fashion photography. I'm here to explain how I edited this photo. This is my first single video on YouTube, so you will see me very often now that I have uh, my shyness. <laughs> Coco Mua invited me on her project and I took this photo. The girl is so beautiful, she was at ease and boom, the magic. Let's get started. First, I'm gonna clean my photo, what I'm saying. I'm gonna remove the button and the blemishes. So, you can use the Elin Bosch tool or the spot in Bosch tool. It will depend on what you want to have as a result. Okay, so we're gonna clean the images, the wall images, you know what I'm saying? shoulder baton on her chest her neck So I'm gonna do the the gen burn. I do the gen burn first on my photo, just because I wanna I wanna have a control over my subject, manage highlight and shadow, standardize the color. So here is my dodge and burn technique. So local dodge and burn, global dodge and burn and highlight, and the black and white and contrast dodge and burn head. So let's get started with the local dodge and burn. So I take my my regular bush tool or coming B my opacity as 100% and my flow as 2% so we can control all of my photo remove a light and shadows So let's see, let's see the result after 
before after before after so we gonna do this on on the part of the images we need to to fix let's zoom What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. We can move, we can move to the, we can move to the frequency separation um, by separating the color from the details to have a soft skin without losing the details. Okay, I'm gonna take um, my mixer brush tool with, um, with the wet at 19% the load 16% the mix 10% and the flow at 7% so I'm gonna draw gently on my subject to get what I want so let's hide this and then my images I'm 
gonna move all of the to one and my freaking situation says beta um 16 bit so I I like to hide the high frequency so I can see my brand image so I can draw gently on, on this and then get the result that I want I choose the color I want to merge so my skin will be soft I can manage my photo Don't forget to, to stay on the skin and do not blend the, the white, I mean the highlight with the shadow. Stay on the line. if we can see visible so we can see the result so before and after before and after before and after <laughs> we're gonna merge all of them to one layer and then Here you go. So here we have the subject very clean. We will move on to what we call the color grading. For this photo, I use color balance and photo filter. A color correction so as not to deviate from my Hujo colors and photo filter to have the brown color for the skin. I apply it on the raw photo at this kind perfectly normal so I got my my PSD so we have uh, my color balance who in saturation and photo filter so come and see um come and V so my color balance we had um Um, perfect look on my photo so as you can see the color is changed and the UN saturation is for the 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 high ball the um, butterfly so and the color filter is for the skin so I have the brown color on the skin so my photo is perfectly normal so I'm gonna I'm gonna merge all of them and then work on the background to uniform the background so I took my my brush tool so we can Okay. 
you can you can do this with the with the regular brush tool but I prefer the mixer brush tool so without um, forgetting the grain I like it so much to add to my photo vintage look everything and everything so I'm gonna add some some grain on my photo so let's see 20 okay and here my photo bon. I think you liked it so I leave you my PSD which contains the photo filter and color balance down below subscribe and don't hesitate it to like the video see you next time